YouTube, I'm back. This is Hope from Seedaholic Gardens, and guess what I'm doing? Of course, another seed haul. Apparently, this is seed haul Saturday. These all came in within days of each other. I know you guys know about Luke's Seed Company and my gardener, where the seeds are 99 cents a pack. If you don't know, go to M I capital M capital I gardener g a r d e n e r dot com, and you will find he has over 460 varieties of heirloom and open pollinated vegetable seeds. That's a really great price. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up. I may have gotten the last packet of strawberries. I'm sorry. Apparently he's out right now. I got some ruby red long day onions. I get long day because I'm in the north. That's the type I have to grow. I have grand rapids lettuce. I'm going to try lemongrass. I don't know if it'll grow perennial here for me, but I might get one season and I like the flavor of it. So that'll be cool. These blue shelling peas I got from him when I first started buying from him and they were gorgeous they germinated well and we ate so many of these and they're so sweet um until they get a little older the pods are really tasty too and they're beautiful I got some holy basil um just because it's used in Ayurvedic medicine and it's holy and I thought why who can't use a little of that in their life I got chervil sorrel parsley bronze mignonette lettuce I got because he and Cindy grow it themselves and theirs looks fantastic so I had to try it. I got bib butterhead lettuce because this is my favorite um, lettuce. I first, the first organic lettuce I ever bought was this one and it cost me five dollars a head. Now from Luke I've got a thousand seeds for 99 cents so if I get 10 I'm making out like a bandit. I got some sorrel some petite snap peas. These are used only for the tendrils, but I thought I've never had them. Let me try them. I got St. John's wort because medicinally it's used for a lot of ailments like insomnia, depression, and women's private stuff. There, oh, I don't know if I want to say that. Women's, uh, and also for women, female troubles. Uh, okay, maybe I'll just leave that out. We'll fix that. Okay. I also got Magenta Sunset Swiss Shard. I love all kinds of Swiss Shard. I love rainbow ones, but I really like the reds and the pinks, so I wanted to get more of that color supported in my mix, so I wanted to bulk it up by adding this. I love rosemary. It might be my all-time favorite herb of all time because I use it in potatoes, I use it in chicken, I use it in fish, I use it in Thanksgiving meals. And I can only grow it as an annual here in Chicago in Zone 5B. And it's very expensive in the store. I'm growing leeks because I love them. I didn't realize until recently how much I like them. And they're expensive too. Venom Creek I got because it's really good for you and tasty. And then I got Red Russian Kale because I'm going to try to overwinter this one. Apparently it's very, very hardy. This is one of the ones I believe that... Um, not, I can't remember who the tuber is that grows this over the winter, but I'm going to try and do it because I love kale of any type. Scarlet's my favorite, but this is point where I'm going to start because I've heard that it will take a frost, which in Chicago, you know I get plenty of. I'm going to grow some cumin because I like the flavor of that in my chili and different uh, Mexican dishes, and I try to be as authentic to the cuisine I'm cooking as possible. And then I got spinach because this is a different one than I have. Um, this one's called Viral Flay, and on Luke's channel, theirs looks really good. And a lot of people grow it, and my husband adores spinach. And I told you before that I share my harvest um, with my congregation. And spinach is something that I can always gift if I have extra, if I can get any out of the house. 